Hey everybody, Michael Pelicia here from Metro Property Inspection. And in today's webisode, we're continuing our series on our heating system information. Today, specifically, we're gonna be talking about combustion air. So typically, when we call out a situation for combustion air, it's because we have a standard efficiency water heater and a mid-efficiency furnace in a room that can have a door that gets closed like that. Now, that may not seem like a very big deal at all. In fact, a lot of people find it desirable to keep their furnace and water heater in a room away from the living space. The problem is that because these units require air to burn the fuel that they use to make hot water and to heat the home, by closing that door, we can starve that room for air. So if you come in here, you can see this is a standard efficiency water heater, mid-efficiency furnace. Mid-efficiency meaning that it's drawing its air for combustion in the area that it's in. Now, some high efficiency furnaces will actually draw their combustion air from outside, but mid efficiency furnaces do not. So, if that door were to be closed, what could happen is this small room, all of the oxygen in here could be exhausted. Now, the problem that that creates is that the flame in the furnace is not going to go out, but what it will do is it will find another source of oxygen, which could be right here. This is the flue pipe for the water heater, and as you can see, it has an opening right here. That's to allow fresh air to go in as the warm air goes up so that it can flow air and exhaust outside. The problem is that that can also work in reverse. So if the furnace is drawing air for combustion, it can actually pull air from this area into the furnace. Now. The problem that that creates is if you've got combustion air from the water heater entering the furnace, that combustion air could actually find its way into the house via the blower in the furnace. So the, the way that we combat that is we put a vent in the wall here between the heating area and the living space so that air from this great big room that I'm in can convect with the room that the furnace and the water heater are in. Now, a lot of people don't like to put those vents in the wall because then you can hear the noise of the water heater or the furnace, but it is fairly critically important. Now, one very interesting little side note on this particular property, the, the owner came and put a vent in to the garage. You can see right there. That actually vents into the garage. You can see a little bit of daylight through there. Well, that too is a problem because the garage is supposed to be a fire protected envelope meaning that if there were a fire in that area, the sheetrock in that room is specially designed to help keep the fire in there. By creating that opening to allow airflow, you've violated the protection that that sheetrock provides. You've also become potentially the guy on fire that's on every sticker on every water heater produced. Now we'll discuss the guy on fire sticker in another webisode, but for the purposes of this one, the thing to remember is that if you've got a standard efficiency water heater and a mid-efficiency furnace in a room that can have the door shut, you may not have enough combustion air in that room for both of those appliances. So if this particular call out showed up on your inspection, this is what we're talking about and this is why we called it out. The repair is very simple and can be done by a handyman with little difficulty or little expense and we highly recommend it because of the potential safety concerns. We also recommend that you always have a carbon monoxide detector in your house, in every house. There really is no exception to that. Even if you have an all electric house, we still recommend a carbon monoxide detector because you just never know. In any case, this is what we mean when we say that there is insufficient combustion air. So if that showed up in your report, I hope this webisode has helped you understand why we called it out and the fixes for it. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.